Oh, Sandell, it's what you doing there? I'm just trying to get to the farm with me cattle and me sheep. Yeah, every week I feed them hay. Hey. We've lost so many viewers. There's so many people just gone. Just uh, gone. See you well, later, guys. When was the last time we reviewed country music? Never, because it's fucking trash. Yeah, if you've got country, five country music you want us to review, put in the comments. Yo. We probably won't review it. If you're a rapper and you're trying to mix country with rap, people are done already. It's shit. Don't do it. Or help on our Patreon and we'll review it. Yellow Wolf tried. Fuck, man. A lot of early rappers tried. Anyway, man. We're not here for Yellow Wolf or country music. We're here for the, <laughs> the eclectic group. Wu -Tang Brockhampton. Clan. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> 1997 Diana. With the music video, we will be watching this time. I don't know. You know why they're titling their, their tracks with these year? The Have you years? noticed it's going back a year every time? I did not notice. It started with 1999 Wildfire. Then it went to 1998, whatever it was called. And then 1997 Diana. Do you think the name Diana is significant to the year? Well, Princess Diana died in 1997. How did you know that off the top? Because I remember watching as a kid. Really? Mm-hmm. You would have been like five, six, seven. I was seven. I remember just getting home and it was like all over the news, like everywhere, like every channel, you couldn't escape it. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. So it's probably to do with that. Because if you notice, 999 Wildfire was guessing it was about an accident. So I'm thinking maybe every single of the, the things are about certain huge things in history that played in those years. I like that a lot. Yeah. Anyway, you want to review, you want to watch this? Fuck yeah, I do. Let's fucking go. Are you doing Russian handles? Do I look like I understand Russian? That's not Roberto. Eight, seven, six, That's a new Roberto. Five, four, See, he left the group as well. Two more verses. Yo, Merlin. where's Merlin and Jova? Why is Merlin barely on these tracks, man? Well, it's only been a couple, man. This is Merlin Wood, man! Everywhere I go is a woodland! I need a honey butter! I don't know the next line. Honey butter! I don't know the next line. Honey butter! 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 I was waiting for that. Not that Bareface isn't talented. Bareface is really talented. In fact, probably the most talented possibly of the group. But, like I said, the last two tracks, they felt a bit forced to me. Or maybe one of them. But imagine if the, the, if the switch up was here, I would have lost my shit. <laughs> I know. Cut off my, cut off my own dick, throw the camera and walk down the stairs. <laughs> That's why I was kind of hoping for it. Um, but they didn't do it. They kept it short and punchy. They kept it yeah. wanting more. Mm -hmm. And what I noticed about Matt's verse and Dom's verse is that the pacing of their verse, verses were quite different than I'm used to hearing. Mm. Maybe influenced by the trap sound a bit more or some other genre. I can't put my finger on it. I quite liked it though because their first verses were a bit more like slower, uh, swagalicious. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then obviously came as an intro, but then like on the second verse, their, both their flows like picked it up that next notch. Exactly. So it went from just sort of like keeping the tempo to just be like, we're going to fuck the game up. And then it ended. Really dope hook, really fucking catchy, fucking hard beat. Uh, and I also love um, 
fuck, I can, never, I can never remember the producer's name, but he was the one that was screaming on there. And, right, yeah. And burped as well. Right. Sorry, I don't mean to disrespect you, but you are the most talented of the group. You uh, are the Didn't most you just talented. say Bareface was? No, I said possibly he could be. Okay. But who does all the, who does all the beats mainly? That's true. It's the conductor. The mm-hmm. producer. But um, yeah, really like this track. Love the direction in this one. Loving this one a lot more than the past two tracks. This is what I want to hear. Found it interesting how they decided <sighs> to film it in a... In a, like a uh, locker room, man, shower room. Imagine if a Mia Van was on this track though. I'm sorry, man. I know, I know you're just like, man, you gotta get over him, man. He fucked up. He fucked up, but I can't, man. I fucking loved him. <laughs> He's been real quiet. I haven't heard anything from him on social media. He's gone dark. He's probably oh, dealing with a lot of demons, man. I, I wonder like what happens when he's out in the street and people say how he's doing. I wonder what, what he says. It actually hurts thinking about it, man. I mean, yeah, he fucked up, but just like... Well, we didn't even know the extent he fucked up. He, we can't even, he can't even continue his career as what he wants to do. Cause he can't really rap against me. Raps and people are going to be like, oh, you're that guy from Brockhampton. Yeah, I, th- got, I think... That got kicked out. I think the way he does it is if he, he lets all his demons out. He puts all, everything out uh, in music. He has to come at Brockhampton. The only way he can revive his career is by coming at Brockhampton. I don't, I don't agree with that. I think he doesn't have to... Would he come at them like, like a beef? Yeah, You think man. he needs to start a beef? Well, he doesn't, he doesn't need to. Actually, no, 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 I'm wrong. Yeah, you're right. He doesn't need to do that. That's just what I want. <laughs> he, you're right. He's just going to be straight up honest about everything he's done, which he kind of was already in his music, but a more detailed approach. Right. Addressing what's happened. Mm-hmm. That's my opinion. If and he then, wants. yeah. But he may just want to you know, work in a construction site or just want to work in a cafe or I don't care. Maybe you want to suck dick. I don't know. Either way, this track is dope as fuck. And Brockhampton, uh, stay killing it. Um, it looks like we're going to get one every week now until the next project. Good. Do you reckon these are all going to be on the next gonna, project? I was thinking I, that. I think they are. Because remember when they first dropped all their singles? Like, as much as I didn't want a few of these tracks to be in the album, it's kind of shaping up that it's going to be that way. But then Tonya didn't have a number in front of it. Do you reckon Tonya was just a Lucy that was to do with the situation? Most potentially. But why would they perform it live then? <sighs> I don't know. Because there's not even a normal version of it. I, and that's their best track they've dropped since Saturation. It is very quaint. It's all Big quaint? Very quaint. What? Big quaint? Big... <laughs> we should make a parody channel. No, Big Quaint should make a parody channel. Big Quaint because Quaint means weird, and then he could just do weird parodies. Big Quaint, call us. Yes. We can't give you the money hot new hip hop is giving you, but we can give you little dick red sausages. For those who watch our other videos, know what the fuck that means. Make sure. What's you? Fucking baby dicks and red fucking, sausages. Don't get me started about baby we're mutilations. We're, baby dick mutilations. There's this woman in Kenya that saved, I think, 1,500 women from genital mutilation. I was reading an article about it. Really fucking cool, I man. I heard that. How did she do that? She just went, basically just, probably just, she just stopped it. I don't know. I'm not a fucking... So you're yeah, a headline reader. You're one of those. It all comes I, I, out I now. didn't click on the link, I'll be honest. I just saw it and I was like, this is awesome. Good on her and I'll tell someone and pretend like I read it. But I got fucking caught. I've been caught red-handed, red sausage-handed, fingers-handed, fingers, sausages. <laughs> Merlin's hopping out that vehicle. I feel like Batman. Hanging with directors, got that action.